In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how to apply a style to a video. Only we're going to use this style from the effect room and apply a new feature which allows you to select what it considers to be the prominent object in the video. It will actually apply a mask to every frame of the video and apply the style to the mask or the area that's not covered by the mask. Let's look at what we can do here. We have the most difficult shot I have of the three we'll, looking at, we'll be looking at. And in this shot, we have three people walking in an airport. So let's apply a style. I'm going to go to my effect room by clicking the FX or pressing the F4 function key. And here I'm going to go from the all content to my style effects. I could pick any, let's do something simple here. Let's do a, a blur. I think I have one here. And we'll take and drag and drop that on my clip. And if we play this without any masking at all, it blurs everything out. Let's apply a mask. I'm going to click on that and then click on the effect button above the timeline. And here we get to our blur controls. Now before we've always had a mask type where we can apply a mask that we create that's either a box or a circle of some kind. We can invert it, we can affect the degree of the blur, and we can feather the mask if we want to. The new feature now available is this Auto Select Most Prominent Object. I'm going to click on that. Now normally you'll see a screen come up that will take some time because it will analyze every frame. I've already done that with this video and for some reason it remembers what the analysis was. But let's play it and see what happens when we apply that. We'll give us some more room here so we see better. And let's play. You see it's masked the individuals. Oftentimes that's not what we want, so we're going to click on the Invert Masked Area. We'll back it up a bit and play this. And you notice it does a somewhat decent job. It has a hard time with fast moving objects like hands and legs. And there is a little area around the individuals, especially the lady on the left, where the mask doesn't work really well. But if you need something simple and quick, it's better than anything we've had before. But this video wouldn't be the best candidate to use something like that. Let's go to another video that's a, a little better candidate. Here we have a still camera, a little bit of motion, but not a lot. And we have a pretty simple image. Let's see how well it does that. In this case, let's take a black and white mask and apply it here. I'm still in my effect room. I'm going to find the effect that I want to apply. I'll take the black and white and drag and drop it. And again, the default is to do a black and white conversion on the entire video. What I'd like to do is click on the effect again, and I'm going to do the auto select. And what I want to do in this case is I want to take that and We'll invert it. And so we should theoretically have him in color, where there is color, and everything else be black and white. Let's see what it looks like. Now you see it does a decent job, especially on his face, but a very imperfect job around here because the colors are probably similar in the original. Let's uncheck it and we can see the color between him and the car are pretty similar. The color above and below his arms, it's having a difficult time with that. But this in general would be a slightly more favorable kind of video to use if you wanted to do this kind of technique. Let's look at the third option that we have. I have a much better video here. This one will probably be the best kind to which you could apply this technique. Let's take our black and white again and drag it on this video here. We'll click on Effect button and do Auto Select. And normally it will take a while to compute the frames. We've already done that and it remembered our analysis. So we're going to do Invert again. Okay, let's see exactly what we can find when we look at this one. Now you notice already before we start, it did not define this part of the apron as part of his body. So we know we're going to have a little bit of an issue there, but let's see how well it does. In general, this is much better. 
because it was very much easier for the program to identify what belongs to him and what does not. You will notice, however, that when you see some areas where his, his arm meets his shoulder, right here on the left, you're going to see a little bit of other skin tones from other people and other things associated with that. It's a much better video in which to apply this kind of effect. And that's it's really nice in what it can do. Let's steer away from the black and white and try a different one. We're going to click on the minus on the left side to remove that. Let's just try something really different. Let's try a black light. Drop that on this video and see what happens when we play it. Okay, there's normal. Okay, now let's change it one more time. We're going to have, having clicked on that, we'll click on effect. And now we're going to apply the black light. We're going to do select, unmask, and invert. And when we look at it, we're, we see, again, the first few frames are going to be the most difficult. But let's see what we get for the rest of it. A little bit of a line around him. But you notice we have some of the same issues. Let's change the degree of the black and see what we have here. Try it a little more with a little more intense. That might make it easier to see. Okay. This kind of video might be more suitable for this kind of application. To apply the style to the area it, the program considers to be the prominent object is a new and enhanced feature in the most recent version of CyberLink PowerDirector.